helping to make local children's dreams come true. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Kate Sample. She is with the Sunshine Foundation. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you, Jill. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the goals of your organization because you work to make the dreams come true of children who are chronically ill, physically challenged, or may have been abused. You partner up with amazing celebrities. You have a dream village. Tell us how it all works. Well, we're a 501c3 and we spread sunshine by answering the dreams of children with severe chronic conditions and those who have been abused, as you mentioned. And what we do is through um, other, through parents who refer children, social workers, um, uh, through the internet is, an, is the newest way for children to come to us. And um, when children do not have a life-threatening diagnosis, they'll be referred to us as well. And what we do is um, get their information. We have um, family income limitations um, so that it's a dream for a child whose parents can't otherwise afford to do that for them. And they come up on our waiting list after they've been approved and we ask what's that dream. And um, it could be anywhere from a, a family vacation to a meeting a celebrity. Um, all sorts of, of special wishes. And you mentioned the idea of meeting a celebrity and you have helped to make that dream come true for many children and each child really wants to meet someone different. You recently had a child named William and he wanted to meet Emeril Lagasse. Yes, William um, did meet Emeril Lagasse. Um, he loved it. William has Will William's disease, believe it or not. That's the name of um, his condition. And it is a genetic illness that um, has uh, consequences in his car in the cardiac area as well as severe developmental delay. And he watched the show, loved it, and that was his dream. And along with that, also Alice from Camden, we answered her dream as well. Um, she wanted to go to Disney World. She has spina bifida. And um, her mother, um, at our 35th anniversary celebration, shared that she would never have been able to do that for her family because of the income limitations of the child's illness. And you actually have something you call a dream village, and this is an amazing place with themed cottages where families can go and enjoy time in Florida. Yes. Um, it's seven and a half acres developed. It's 20 minutes west of the Magic Kingdom, and um, the children can go online and pick the cottage they'd like to be in. Different themes, um, underwater, um, in the forest, um, fairy tales, and um, very happy one branded with Lego Land as well. Uh, and, um, you know, the children go down there. We pay for airfare theme parks. They get to pick what theme parks they like to go to, um, give them all their expense money. They have a rental car, a van at the airport, even airport greeters. And they get to just enjoy a vacation that they couldn't otherwise have. You're working to make this dream come true for many more children. I want to quickly ask you about how that works because right now in South Jersey, you have 11 children on the waiting list waiting for their very own dream. Uh, you have events like your Beach Blast, you have a fishing tournament July 13th and then you have an event in September that's a bike run. So many ways for people to get involved. How important are these events when it comes to making these dreams come true? Oh, very important because the Sunshine Foundation is not a large corporate charity. We're actually um, peopley funded. Our chapters are volunteer, so not staffed offices, they're all volunteers. And actually throughout the country, we answer the dreams of children. Um, so we're always grateful to our volunteer chapters who put together these special events to make those dreams happen. And again, that fishing tournament's July 13th and the bike run is happening in September. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Jill. We've been talking with Kate Sample. She's president of the Sunshine Foundation. I'm Jill Horner.